Hi guys, welcome back to Form of Therapy. This is The Culture Study. This is where I check out K-pop music videos and I give you my honest thoughts and feedbacks as both a video producer, a lifelong K-pop fan, and as a Korean American. Welcome to the channel, my name is Chaeok PD and today we are checking out Slay by Everglow. Super stoked for this one. Uh, Everglow, love this group, love their music. Uh, their title tracks are uh, always truly show-stopping. Uh, it's been a year, a little over, under, not sure which it lies. Uh, a year since Pirate, which I really liked it. Divided opinions on it, but I thought it was very adventurous. I also really like a fun, hard-hitting dance song. So I liked it, but I've been looking forward to a, a new Everglow comeback ever since. Now, before we get into the video, as always, if you enjoy our content and you'd like to support the channel, remember you can always visit our Patreon. We check out K-dramas, um, idol variety content, uh, anime. So if any of that is of interest to you, like listening parties, uh, live stage reactions, dance practices, consider joining our Patreon. I unfortunately don't have any Everglow bonus, co uh, bonus content, so uh, that I'm giving you a fair warning. But if you are a fan of a different group, perhaps, consider checking out our Patreon. Now, you don't have to support us monetarily. That's always optional. You can just subscribe for free and comment down below. Let's get into the video. This is Slay by Everglow, and this is your form of therapy. Hmm. Immediately from the opening melody, it sounds like an Everglow song. So they're familiar too. Ooh, that is not. Whoa. Wow, okay. Oh, is that you? She looks she looks different. Damn, there is so much rapping in this song. Oh, wow, that's a Whoa. Oh. Oh, the sudden switch up in that pre-chorus is super cool. Ooh. Oh, the rap-driven post-chorus. Oh, that was a great idea. Every 
if I were to give uh, kind of like a first immediate first reaction rating, the song and the music video sits somewhere at like a 7.5. It's so close to, I think, being a great song. And I think this music video has great ideas, but it never really goes anywhere. Uh, if we're starting with the song, I, I think I liked really everything except the hook, the main chorus. That, that not na 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 while that is a very fami familiar Everglow tune, I'm almost curious as to whether or not that sound is a little outdated by now. Every part of it was kind of predictable. And Everglow, I think what surprised me was this is not even their sound recently. I would say the past several few comebacks, they've experimented a lot more while still maintaining an Everglow sound and kept improving themselves, one-upping themselves and being more ambitious with both their songs and their videos. Even take Pirate, for example. Pirate had some divided opinions on it. And honestly, I really, really liked Pirate. It, it wasn't one of their best title tracks, but I would say I just really liked it a lot. And the music video too, it was wild, crazy, uh, still ambitious. That's what I always really liked about Everglow's concepts and the music video, they have a lot of blank, non-patterned, not really set dressed, monochromatic blank sets. And these are all very familiar aesthetics with Everglow, but the way their videos previously were directed while never having like a clear direction, they always felt like a journey, like the videos were going somewhere, um, whether that's Dun Dun or La Di Da. That music video for La Di Da had so much momentum to it. But, you know, that it, that could also be maybe even a commentary on how much can the video do based on how experimental the song itself is. I feel like Everglow tried some new things here that I really liked. The really sudden, fast hip hop uh, rap switch ups, I really liked that. I thought that was ambitious. In the first verse, Mia also does this amazing, beautiful R&B vocal. And by the way, throughout the entire song, I think Mia uh, covers both vocals and rapping and does an amazing job at it. And Asha also did an amazing uh, job. Her and you, their raps, rap sections were always really dope. But again, they made a splash, but I feel like it didn't surprisingly, like the word, it didn't exactly quite slay for me. Let's go ahead and cut to the, cut to the music video uh, one more time. So, if we just take a glance at this video, while it is epic, when you pause and look at it, there is actually not much going on. And when you pause and look at it, there's just no, I feel like actual identity to this video. There's maybe this loose, are they trying to do a some kind of techno Black Widow type of thing? I think I saw spiders and like, there was like a transition where I think a spider scurries across and uh, EU's solo uh, section, the tunnel, uh, has a bunch of cobwebs. But even then, just conceptually, I'm I'm very lost on what's going on in this, not just video, but in this song. The, the two don't quite correlate together. Uh, Pirate, that very much suited that. It felt like a very EDM-driven a uh, pirate song, so then uh, it had a very cool cosmic uh, pirate ship vibe to it, uh, to the set. Even Dun Dun, which was more kind of generic, it tried to at least do cool things, uh, make symbolism or imagery where there is none with like the icebergs, uh, the different shots of like Xion with that uh, flag while she's raising it out. Uh, or even a music video like First. I'm just very underwhelmed by the, by the video. On a quality and actual production level, yes, it is high quality, but in terms of what it means for Everglow and their music, I am not a fan of this video. 
Uh, I don't think it actually captured the identity of Everglow. And I can't even quite speak to the choreo either. I, I just feel like the music video and even the the con the styling, the concept, it just it's all kind of lost on me. And you know, I'm sure there's an answer for it, but if you have to look that deeply, I feel like the the marketing and or the concept didn't quite work if it's that confusing or if it's that faint. I think it's a fine song. I think it's good, but I don't think it's great, which is why I have to give the song like a 7.5. There were several inspired moments that were, oh my God, where is this going? And then it doesn't quite deliver. I feel like K-pop has changed a lot within uh, just the past few couple of years. Music, I think, has changed a lot. And I think uh, the style of K-pop has changed a lot. And I think this is... Uh, and the talk is happening a lot more now, is is there a generational change in K-pop, even though it's less years? And I, I think so. I think when, you know, certain types of tropes um, or certain types of song styles don't quite work anymore, I'm not saying Everglow should abandon this style or the kind of hooks that they do. I just think that their sound needs to be evolved. It didn't feel like they evolved in the past year that they were gone. It just feels like they resumed, and it just makes you wonder... Why the one-year pause? And even if there was no choice for the one-year pause, knowing that there was this long hiatus and knowing the scene as it is now, uh, for the company's part, I would have pursued a much more ambitious sound. I mean, uh, I think it would have been even at least more ambitious to try and go for a completely different sound as long as it's more ambitious and different and can kind of keep up with just the current scene of K-pop music. All right, well, those are just my opinions. And what matters is creating a discussion. So I would love to know what you guys thought. What did you think of Everglow's Slay? Uh, did you like it? Uh, do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for tuning into today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Hope I wasn't uh, too harsh. But I hope you guys can understand. I, I really do love Everglow. Uh, and I just want to see the best for them or, and from them. So um, I hope you guys just enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. It's going to be a button for you right here. Uh, you can also additionally support us by visiting our Patreon, checking out some bonus reactions for a, a little bit of a pledge every single month. Of course, you can cancel at any time, but even joining the Patreon is optional. You can just simply watch any of our other videos over here, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.